Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller. Today, as you can see, we have a Thread Up Rescue Box. It is the 15-piece mixed jewelry rescue box from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And we're going to open it today. So while I'm opening it, uh, you if, if you like anything that you see and would like to purchase it, you can do that by emailing me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. Um, I will have a sold list pinned down in the comment section for you so you can check that before you email me. Yep, mixed jewelry, $48. I purchased this quite a bit ago. <laughs> Make sure you give me a timestamp and a brief description of the items that you're interested in. I love reusing all of this packing material. And at the end of the video, I'll also go through some more jewelry, um, just a couple things from the live sale a couple days ago that I didn't get to. So I'll go through some of that at the end of this video, and then I'll save the rest for another pop-up live sale. So I'll try to do those a couple times a month. Um, also, I have one coming up this Friday. I mean, I'm sorry, this Saturday the 8th with Kimmy from Soho California Vintage. So make sure you um, come by and hang out with us and maybe bid on some jewelry. It'll be at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel. Okay, so let's see what we got. Um, this looks like, okay, Roxanne, whatever that says, not sure, but it's cute. Why do I feel like this, oh no, that just says R-A, okay, for Roxanne Asulin. <laughs> so this is cute. I don't know anything about the brand, so let's check it out. Let's look her up and learn something together. So Roxanne, oh, it comes right up. So let's type, I mean, click bracelet. Here we go, look at that. See guys, I would have just sold this to you guys for like eight bucks. So um, it's always good to check if you're not sure. Um, you know, better safe than sorry. These ones, um, don't have this rhinestone like I have. So I'm wondering if that would be a little bit more. This one looks like it might have a green stone. Wow, so I would have never thought these are, were selling around the $60 range, but remember guys, we have to check the solds because solds is what matter. You can list, you know, a pen on you on eBay for $700. It doesn't mean that someone's going to buy it. You have to price it based on the sold listings and then you have to price it competitively based on the active for sale list listings. Um, I'll go over that in a second. So, okay, they're selling solds are about the same. So that's pretty good. I'm still not really seeing any with these Mm, that's kind of similar with these rhinestones. So I would probably um, ask for more because of the stones. Let's turn on Pressy and see if maybe they are glass or whatnot. Look at that one. That's cool. But if I were to list this on eBay, I would probably list it around... Probably 60 bucks because the thick ones are going for around 60 to 70. So I would price mine around 50 to 60. So then I would go back to the four sales. And since I still didn't see any like this, I would still list mine around 50 to 60. But if I had one similar to these, I'd probably list it around $39.99 to be competitive. 
and have a person choose mine over all of these others at the higher price. So, okay, let's see. They are not, oh wait, are they? Yeah, okay, they're glass. So for you guys, I would probably ask, I'll do 25 for you guys. Pretty cool, It's. I would say it's brand new, you know, comes with the baggie. All right, it's 25 bucks on that, not a bad start. This looks like J. Crew. Can never go wrong with J. Crew because they're so expensive in the store that people really look out for this brand um, used. This looks nice. Okay, so it is J. Crew with the Senorita clasp. This one's really pretty. It's got the clear rhinestones with the antiqued gold tone. A couple little scratches on the back, but not too bad. This right now, as it sits, is a nice collar necklace. I really like it. I like it a lot. So where's my measuring tape? Here we are. Yeah, it's about seven inches. Um, oh no, we're missing stones. Right here and right here. Wow, that's crappy. This is supposed to be like the better box, the mixed jewelry. Wow, that is a super bummer. This one bro is broken, and this one's fully missing. Oh no, this one's broken too. The little tip is still there. Well, that stinks. So I will sell this as a crafting piece for $5 because it is it still does have the majority of it there. Wow. So we went from good to bad. <laughs> Let's look at what this was or is. Okay, I love the blue stone. It does appear to have a sterling silver clasp, I mean, uh, chain. Are we focused? Yeah, all right. It's a really pretty box chain. It's got that beautiful sparkle to it. Sometimes it'll say, 14k <laughs> but no this one's 925 and the back of this also says 925 so let's actually see oh I turned I turned it off I'm a jerk okay well in the meantime let's test to make sure we'll do a little bit on the pendant and we'll try to get the chain I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll try. Yeah. This isn't really working because it's more of like a rub I did, but the pendant is definitely sterling. Let's try just the clasp. Yeah. Okay. So we're good. Now let's check out that blue stone, maybe a topaz. Look at that. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so we have a sterling silver and topaz. Beautiful necklace. Pretty big topaz. Let's get a measurement on the chain. Nine inches wearable, super beautiful. Let's do... Um, 25 on that that's a that's a really good deal all right these look like they might be j crew or stella and dot they are stella and dot i've definitely sold these bangles a couple times before they're cute they're green and blue with gold tone probably an eight inch yeah eight inch circumference and I will do, I'll do $6 each. That way you don't have to buy the set. All right, this looks like it's in really crapple of condition. Yeah, look at that, how dare they? 
Look at the side. Look. That's disgusting. It is so worn. This is going to be craft for $1. I'm disappointed in that. Okay, let's see what you are. Okay, this is Brighton. I feel like we're going like highs and lows here. We're going really good, really bad, really good, really bad. <laughs> so this is Brighton. It says dream on it. And then it says peace starts within with a peace sign. And it looks like, a, you know, like the earth, well, a globe. Um, really pretty, really nice condition. It does have an extender, but as it sits without, it's almost an eight inch. So definite collar necklace as it sits and you can make it longer. It looks like it's a two inch extender. This one's really nice and it's got a lot going on. Um, I'm going to ask 30 on it. That's a really significant uh, Brighton piece. All right, what is this? This looks like real pearl. And this is a huge baggie. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely a little gritty. This is actually really cool. This is like a torque necklace, but I mean, you don't have to put anything on it because you have these beautiful pearls. And the pearls are like a um, really deep champagne color. They're like a yellow, not yellow, like a peachy champagne. And this would fit, you know, pretty much any size neck as a choker. Cool. Um, yeah. Let's do, let's do 14 on that. Oops, I dropped something. Eee. All right, I see a couple rings, so I'm excited for that. Rings, I think, are my favorite jewelry to wear. Rings and bracelets. All right, what are you? All right, Liz Palacios. Palacio, right? I said that right? Very cute. It's a good brand. This looks like it might be a rose quartz. Oh, I think it might be pink jade. Oh, yep. Okay, so pink jade. And then there's these other really pretty pink stones. Let's see if they do anything. Those are glass, okay. So this is a really pretty, it's um, like a gold, antiqued gold tone. It's a Y necklace. Hold on, let me get it straight for you. Really pretty. There is, okay, there is an extender. So let's measure it without. It would be eight inches wearable to the drop here. And then the drop is three and a half inches and there is an extender. So I'm going to ask 12 on this. And it comes with this cute little velvet bag. Okay. Let's look at this one. This is the one I dropped. Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe Peridot. So it says, yep, 925 on the inside. Uh, Peridot does not come up on the gem tester, I don't believe. Because remember, there are different stones that will fall under the category of these. Um, gemstones only. Natural stones do not come up on here. Just gemstones, gem tester. <laughs> so let's just see anyway what it does. Oh, look at that, it might not even be Peridot. 
it might just be glass. Let's see what these are. Yeah, it might just be a glass ring. That's fine. It's still pretty. Let's make sure it's at least sterling. Because sometimes it could be a faker. Ooh, it might be. It might be a faker. Because it's barely even letting me scratch it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a faker on our hands. So it is not sterling. It's just silver tone and glass, but it's still really pretty. So let's get a size. It's a seven and I'll do 10 bucks. I, I actually really like it. The color is pretty. All right, this is Park Lane, brand new with tag. Really pretty gunmetal, silver, and rhinestones. Let's make sure none are missing. All right, I think we're good. Super cute, a lot of filigree work. It does have an extender, but as it sits, it's eight and a half inches wearable and can go larger. So let's do 10 on this one. Pretty, pretty. This looks like it would be sterling as well. Yeah, I can see the, let me just make sure that's 925. Cause like I said earlier, it could also be white gold. Yeah, it's 925. And then this, what is this? Oh, that's pretty. These could be diamonds, guys. And it does say 925 in there as well. So let's check it all out. I'm not going to do the chain because it's, it's really hard for me to get the chain. Uh, we'll just check out the pendant. Yes. Okay. So that's good with that. Let me reuse. And then let's check out the stones. So there's bigger ones and oh no, they're all the same size. Some of no, some of them are bigger. Yeah, some of them are bigger than others, so let's check out both if I can get them. Diamonds! Oops, that's metal. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> All right. Oh, actually, hold on. So it is metal in between, and just the diamonds are these bigger pieces, the bigger ones. So that is absolutely awesome. So we have diamonds and sterling silver. The chain is eight and a half inches wearable. And I'm gonna do 50 bucks on this one, five zero. So pretty, and this can go with anything. You can wear this with jeans and a t-shirt or a black dress to a, a black tie affair. So cool. All right, that's making up for the J. Crew, two J. Crew pieces. <laughs> These look like sterling. These are really pretty, look. So yes, it's, oh, these are Judith Jack, yay! Right, I got that right, Judith Jack, the JJ. Her stuff does very well, very, very well. So sterling and marcasite, it looks like. I don't know if that's actually marcasite, but it looks like it. Really pretty hoops. Let's check these out for sterling really quick. Yes, 
Yep. That's a bright blue for you. All right. How much will I ask for these? I can probably list them online for around 80. Yeah, around 60 to 80, I would say. So I'm going to ask, I'll do 50 on these as well. $50, really pretty, probably the size of a quarter. Judith Jack, Sterling, and probably Marcusite. Look, it goes all the way around the back. Let me just make sure none are missing. Nope, we're all good. 50 bucks, really cool. All right, let's look at this big honker of a ring. You guys ready for this one? Boom. <laughs> so cool. There's definitely a couple little scratches on it, but nothing major. Look at the projection on that. It's like a little egg in a basket. So let's look at the inside. All right, I don't see any markings. So this could be just a fashion ring. Or it could be unmarked silver. Or it could be unmarked gold. Wait, what, what was that other necklace that I, oh, this one but it, it was marked 925, so that's not gonna be gold. But if it's not marked, it could be white gold. So I'm gonna do, see, I just realized this the other day because I have a ring my mom gave me that she had made custom, and it's 14 karat gold, but it's there's no markings on it whatsoever. So you would never, you know, how would you know? Okay, it's not sterling. And we're gonna check it with 10 karat gold. That way if it eats the line, we know it's definitely not 14 karat, but it could be 10. See guys, I don't know, that's kind of holding, no? Mm, actually, it's it's starting to dissolve now. So let's just for, you know, fun and S and G's, let's do the 14K. Oh, yeah, no, it eats it right away. All right, so it's nothing. It's just a uh, fashion costume piece, which is not a problem. I always test uh, the different uh, acids on different stones. I don't know. I don't want to, like, mix things. So, all right, it's just fashion. It's There's a little bit of light scratching on here, not really too noticeable. Let's get a size, size seven. We'll do eight bucks on that. Ooh, these are pretty. They don't even feel like glass though. And these things on the back are super dirty. Yikes. Yeah, they're glass. So I'll just do five on those. All right, the last piece, guys, is right here. Let's see what it is. What the heck is that? What is that? All right, who's RC? Jeez Louise. RC ring, RC, is it silver? Possible. That's kind of a weird shape. It is not silver. I, should we try it for uh, gold? I don't think it's gold, but a lot of testing here today.
No. All right, so it's just a fashion. Well, it could be just a fashion ring. Let's see if anything comes up. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna work. RC signed ring. Yeah, right. All right, no, that's definitely a different uh, RC. All right, we'll just wing it. If anybody knows what it is, you can definitely let me know in the comments, and I will probably make a mistake on this one, but that's okay. It's a size... It's actually pretty adjustable, but as it sits to seven and a half... Um, let's do eight bucks on it since it's in nice condition. All right, so that's everything from the thread up box. And let's do some out of the jewelry I had from Monday. So again, if you see anything that you like, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. And just give me the timestamp of the item that you're interested in. Payment is due immediately. I, I do not give like days and days for people to pay. Um, you know, since this is my full-time job, uh, I do rely on, you know, every sale that I make, even though that may sound kind of cheesy. Uh, so I do require payment immediately once you receive the invoice, please. I can hold stuff for you. That's not a problem. Um, I just will need you to pay for the items and I'll hold for the week so you can shop my videos and not have to pay shipping, you know, over and over again. So just let me know if you would like to do that in your email to me and check the sold list that's pinned down in the comment section. That just helps me with the amount of emails that I get. Um, so just check that out. And we have this beautiful Trifari, Crown Trifari brooch here. Let's do six on that one. What was this? This looked cool. This is, oh, this, this is Park Lane. Let's stick this back in here so nobody gets hurt. It's a pendant and a brooch. Really pretty. Let's do six on that. Here's another Crown Trafari. Six. Oh, this is Judy Lee. Look at this really nice wide gold tone panel bracelet with a fold over clasp, really nice condition. Seven inches. Let's do eight on this one. That's really nice. Got this little Jerry's poodle brooch. She's got a little wear on her nose. Let's just do four on that one. We have these Crown Trafari silver tone flower clip-ons. Let's do five. Eek, these are really yucky. We're going to skip on those for a second. Those are going to be not for sale. I'll try to clean them and bring them to a, a different sale. This guy's not marked, he's cute. He's a cat, so a uh, gold tone, and check it out. He moves his head. So let's do five on him. All right, we got some missing pieces here of something, I don't know what it is. We have clip-on. Clip-on Trifari, Crown Trifari earrings, just gold tone balls. Uh, we'll do four on those. We have these tri uh, Crown Trifari clip-ons, new on the card still. Um, 
Let's do eight. Yeah, we're missing some matches here. <coughs> Excuse me. These are bar clay. They're pretty, they are got some scratches on it though. We'll just do four clip-ons. This is Sarah Coventry, really cute little gold tone bracelet. Very simple. Some of the links are like a textured and some are shiny. Seven inch length will do $5. Okay, this is really long. This is Sarah Coventry as well. Let me just get it untangled here. So it's a double strand, silver tone chain, and one is longer than the other. Very cool. Really nice condition. Let's get a measurement. 10 inches. Wait, that's wrong. 14 inches and 18 inches wearable. Let's do seven on that. This is Sarah Coventry as well. This is silver tone bracelet, seven inches. $5. This is a little slider pendant. It's just glass. It's got a little bit of wear to it. We'll just do four bucks. This is 925. So it's a vermeil with a J. And they are glass. Come on, work with me here. It's a nine inch wearable length. So we will do $8 on that vermeil J necklace. This is also Sarah Coventry, silver tone chain, um, 11 and a half inch wearable. We'll do six on that one. Another J. Uh, there's no markings. It's got a little bit of wear to the heart here, but that's from the J, like hitting it all the time. It's a seven inch wearable, seven inch length again, so we'll do five. This has got a lot of wear to it. It says it's 925, so let's see. I'm not really thinking it is. No. It's not. It's another faker. Um, we'll just do four bucks, and it's also a seven inch length. Then we have this little dainty gold tone bracelet. Let's see if it says anything. It's Crown Trafari. And it's also seven inches. <laughs> so we will do $5 on that too. Um, let's see if we have anything else to look at really quick, and then we will wrap it up. Just doing a couple extras today. 
Okay, let's look at this. This is Coro. So they are purple stones with gold tone. The chain is a little bit of a different color. The front looks good. There is some wear um, in the links here, but it's nothing, it's nothing serious. It's pretty, pretty nice. So it does have an extender. It can go from 13 inches to 16 inches total length. And we will do, let's do 12. And all the stones are there, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe one more piece. What's this? Oh, this is broken. No. Yeah. A piece broke off. It can still be put on, but it might come off again. Doo doo. And this is, yeah, see, it just came off again. This is Crown Trafar. Oh, this is Avon. Sorry. Avon. So this will be a dollar in the craft lot. And all right, let's show one more. <laughs> one more, one more. This is the brand INC. There's a little bit of wear to the clasp. This is pretty, I like this one. I like these like cloudy type colors and we have some other pearl in here. Really pretty, nice round gold tone chain. Uh, let's get a measurement. Eight inch and then it goes to 11 inches to the bottom and there is an extender. So let's do six on this one and we'll end here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little combo video. Uh, make sure you guys come check out me and Kimmy on Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my channel. Click the thumbs up for me. Check that sold list before you email. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next one.